All right, guys. This news is going to be about a Uber driver, right? So let's just get into it. Oh, tables have turned. Let's just say that, okay? The headline goes, okay? This is the Atlanta Journal Constitution. Uber driver arrested in Atlanta shooting that killed passenger. So for all you that take Ubers out there, y'all be safe, okay? It says, police have arrested an Uber driver accused of killing one of his passengers and critically injuring another after an argument outside of Northeast Atlanta gas station. Nigel Nimhard, I think that's how you say his name, he's 36 years old, was charged with felony murder and aggravated assault following his interview Wednesday at police headquarters. Nimhard was cooperating with detectives and was initially detained at the scene early Wednesday morning, according to Atlanta police. Okay. Uber confirmed it has removed Nimham from its app. The rideshare company has a no firearms policy that applies to both drivers and riders. And anyone who violates the policy may lose access, according to the company. Now, that is kind of scary to me because I drove Uber plenty of times before and I. I, I, I'm always curious to, and ask them, like, are y'all afraid? Are y'all afraid for your life or whatever? And they'll say, um, no, we didn't have had many bad incidents or whatever. Usually when they're, like, you know, going downtown and they're drinking and they, you know, it's they're drunk. But overall, it's no issue. For me personally, if I was doing that, I, I would want to have that right to have a firearm because people are crazy. That's just me. Okay, but whatever. It says here. What police are reporting is deeply concerning. A spokesman for Uber said in a statement, we banned the driver from the app and will work with law enforcement on their investigation. Well, that's good, I guess. Okay, so it says, officers were called to the Sherburn station at the corner of Monroe Drive and Piedmont Circle about 5 a.m. Wednesday and found two men lying shot in the parking lot. Nimhard was still in his vehicle and waiting for police at a location across the street. Lieutenant Daniel uh, Jensen said from the scene. So that was the lieutenant on the scene, Lieutenant Daniel. Okay, and it says here, we were able to determine there was three people that were passengers of a rideshare vehicle, said Jensen, who commands a APD's, APD's homicide unit. At some point, there was an argument inside the vehicle with the driver. The argument ultimately ensued to gunfire. One passenger was pronounced dead at the scene, sheesh, and later identifies as Kevin Leonard Fulton, 36, of Atlanta. According to the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office, a second was taken to Wellstar Atlanta Medical Center, where he was in critical condition but stable. Wednesday morning, oh, Wednesday morning, that's when it happened. Okay, so then third left before police arrived. So it was three total. But Jensen said he does not think he will be difficult to locate. To locate. Okay. It said no updates were provided Thursday on the injury on the injured and missing passengers. Okay. Jensen said evidence. The officer said evidence suggests that they were standing outside the vehicle when they were shot and the bullets were fired from inside the car. Detectives were investigating self-defense as a possible motive, but later established probable cause to charge the shooter in in this case okay number was being held on his charges in the Fulton County Police okay so that's how it goes all right so that's all they know as of right now I really want to keep update with this story because I wonder what happened like I want I was thinking about just waiting like maybe I'm not gonna do a, a video on this and just wait to see um, Will they like have more on it first? But I just thought it was just shocking and I just wanted to put it out there because that's a lot of people do Uber. Maybe not lately now, but a lot of people because of the COVID thing, but a lot of people do Uber and it's pretty dangerous. It could, it could be dangerous, I would say. It could be dangerous. Usually we hear stories about the passengers turning up on the driver and giving them such a hard time but in this case this time it's the other way around so it's three involved three passengers 
one died, one is in critical condition but stable, and the other one ran away. We don't have haven't heard anything about uh, that yet. But the man who did this, it was a black man, and I'm just I just want to know like what could possibly happen. Did, did he argue about? I think I read somewhere where it said something about it was an argument um, about the third person. Maybe they didn't want the third. Maybe he didn't want the third person to get in or something. I'm not sure, but I really would keep you guys updated on this. It had a picture of him. Well, I'm going to post it in my thing anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, life is short. Your life can be taken just like that. I would say this. If, some, if something goes down and you arguing and, and whatnot, I think it's just, I think if, I think it's sometimes we gotta understand that, and I'm not blaming the the, the passengers or anything like that because I I don't know anything else further, but um sometimes we get so wrapped up in arguing and trying to have the last word and, and all of that sometimes it's just best to let things go and just go your separate way. I don't know what really happened, but this is crazy. I mean, they were outside of the car. It, it, according to what the uh, police investigators saw. The shooting happened with inside. They were already out. So couldn't he just drive away? I don't know. Couldn't he just drive away? That's what I'm thinking. If he's inside the car, just drive away. But I, whatever. I didn't happen that way. But anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, comment in the comment section. Tell me your thoughts uh, so far on this situation. If you, uh, particularly, especially if you uh, drive Uber, if you're the Uber driver or passenger, if you have any little story that you were afraid or something happened, share it in the comment section. My experience, I never had one. I had one where the guy was high on, you know, something, but I never been in a bad situation. I, I never was in a bad one. But if y'all ever have one, comment in the comment section, share your thoughts. Um, like, share, subscribe, and yes, thanks for tuning in.